Hello and welcome back. It's puzzle time with Sudoku Sleuth and we have yet another phenomenal Sudoku variant puzzle for you today. Now the title of the puzzle should almost tell you everything. It just says Dr. Logic. And you can see in this picture, now we all know Dr. Logic only just turned 18. And you can see from the video I'm clearly a lot older than 18. But somehow a puzzle from Dr. Logic I can only imagine Dr. Logic as the professor standing at the top of a lecture hall and you've got Sleuth here listening to this lecture, taking copious amounts of notes and I'm the 18 whilst Dr. Logic is already a fully grown professor. Nothing else in my mind seemed to make any sense. So let's take a look at the puzzle that Dr. Logic has set for us today. We've got Dr. Logic by Dr. Logic, told you, that was the, the name of the puzzle. And we have the following set of rules. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So the digits one to nine in every row, every column, including that four, every three by three box, we know those. Digits along a green German whisper line must differ by at least five, of which we've got quite a few throughout here. And if you remember from previous videos where we featured German whispers line, they have to oscillate between a high digit and a low digit. So six, seven, eight, or nine, or one, two, three, and four, doesn't include a five unless you are expecting to allow a zero or a 10, which is not allowed under today's rules. Digits along a purple Renban line must be consecutive. We don't have many of these and they're quite short. They're only two cells long, but these two cells are essentially consecutive. Digits separated by a black dot are in the ratio of 1 to 2. We've got a handful of them here today. Digits on a grey circle must be odd. We've got only one of them here today. So that's from 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. And lastly, we have digits along the marked diagonal. And you can see this blue line here. Although admittedly, it's quite a busy puzzle today. So you'd be forgiven if you've missed it. Um, digits along the marked diagonal must not repeat. And essentially because we've got nine cell long diagonal, it means we need to place the digits one through to nine on every single one of these cells. Uh, without repeating, obviously. And that's all the rules we have today. Now, if you feel like being schooled by Dr. Logic or potentially rising to the occasion and actually schooling Dr. Logic instead, you can play in the link in the description down below as per usual. And with that said... Let's restart the clock and see what we have here today. So those of you that have seen other videos from me, I almost always start by coloring German whispers lines. Um, and today it looks like we actually have, we don't, normally this is not something that's given to us, but you know, with the four digits that Dr. Logic's actually provided already, we can actually color code quite a bit of it. I don't know if I want to do more just yet. Um, look, I'll do this cell so you can see these four are going to be one color. I don't know what that is, but we'll call it purple. And only the center cell is a orange, we'll call that. Now, Imagine this was high digits, so that's six, seven, eight, and nine. This would force this to be one, because there is a six on that. And to be five away, one is the highest digit we would be able to do. Now, the reverse is true. If these were low, it would be one, two, three, and four. And the highest digit would actually have to be a nine, and it can only be one or nine, nothing else. Now, continue along this diagonal, maybe something that I've missed that's fairly obvious. Where does five go? You can see, and I said when I was explaining the rule sets, that can't have a five on a German whispers line. So not there, not there, not there, not there, not there. There's only one spot for the five. First digit, minute 130 on the clock there. So we have a digit. We also can tell that the five has to be down here because we already placed all the others. Maybe fives is where we need to start. There is another five in there. 
can't place a 5 anywhere in this column except here. On a Remband line, that must be with a 4 or a 6. It has to be a 6. Do we know more about 5s anywhere else? There is a 5 down there. Can't have it on a German Whispers line. This is the 5. Yeah, this is the other five. Nearly. I say nearly as in we've placed a lot of fives. Certainly not all of them, but here's another one again. This is a five six setup. Again, Remman line must be contiguous and we have no four available as an option. That's a five six pair again, similar to this. And five is somewhere in here and five is somewhere in there. So let's maybe look elsewhere for our next set of inspirations. What can this be? So it's two or three, because it's slow. It can also be a four, but clearly no, because that would require a double nine. Four and six on German Whispers lines are obviously the most restricted, because if I place a six in here, these would be double one. If I place a four in here, these would be double nine, clearly neither of which is allowed. If it's a two, the one is gone, this would be a four. If it's a three, this has to be a six. Which interestingly would make this quite tempting as a five. This could be two, four, and three though. Equally, this could be three, six, and seven. So it doesn't have to be a five. Does it not? I think that's an incorrect statement. Let me explain why I'm thinking it has to be a five. So we've got two lows, two highs, but really make that three lows, three highs. So we're left with a five and a low and a high. Now, if this isn't a five, these have to be of opposite polarity. So 4 would somehow have to be consecutive with a 6, or the 6 would somehow need to be consecutive with the 4, which is clearly nonsense. That's a 5 joined with a 4, 6, and whatever, whichever one this is, this is the opposite color. I'm not really sure how I can pencil mark this in. I'm not sure I will bother. Uh, this can't be a 6. This also can't be a 9. This is a 7 or 8. Maybe time to pencil mark a few options. Um, actually, this is a more interesting one. So black dots are quite restricted because you can only have one, two, three, four, six, or eight. Nothing else would be, well, you know, there's no fives, sevens, or nines. Can't really have something that is in a one to two ratio. Now, let me remove all the evens. Not two, not four, not six, not eight. This is one or three only. Now, if it's a one goes with a 2, so 3 goes with a 6. So it may seem that there's a load of options, but there is actually very few options. And take a look at this. This can't be a 6 because we already placed a 1. 6 has to be placed with a 1 on a German Whispers line. So we know that this is a 2. We know this is a 1. We know this is a 3. This can't be a 7 anymore because that's not 5 away, and it can't be a 9 because that sees it in the row. And this is, well, it can't be 8. This has to be 9. This is a 3, therefore this is a 6. We have 7, 4, and a whole box now complete with box 6 done. Um, I don't know why I didn't color this. This is blue. These are blue. This is red. This is my usual kind of neutral gray color. Now take a look at this. Three blues looking at box 9. Purple has to be low, otherwise we'd end up with five low digits in addition to these three. And this has to be low. So that's one. Uh, this is six, seven, or nine. And this is six, eight, or nine. Although I can take this a step further. These are not six. 
got a 5.6 pad in here. This looks okay for the moment. Um, let me just, pardon me, just quickly color a few of these. I think having colors is proving helpful, so I will continue with it. Uh, these clearly have to be low. This is fixed, one, two, and four. Seize this cell, this has to be a three. We need to place two and four. This can't be a four, that's the four, that's the two. Um, making rapid progress now. We need a five up here to complete the column. Can only be in there with a six, eight, or nine. And that's red, that's gray. We've got one, two, three, six. This is a four, eight pair. Only remaining options that we have here. And a seven. So we need two and three plus, oh, hang on, this is a four, eight pair. That's not eight. This is six or nine. Well, we knew eight was here anyway because of this eight. So not a lot that's been learned, but essentially we've got two and three with whatever six or nine this isn't. Um, I don't really think I need to pencil mark this. That's not something we can forget necessarily. Uh, where can we go next? Nine, eight, seven. It doesn't help us figure out what this is. Let's just see if we can pencil mark what these are. So this is a two. These are from seven, eight, and nine. We've got one, two, four, all seeing this cell. This is a three. And therefore, this is not seven. We've pencil marked three red cells, three blue cells, and this is not a three, not a one, not a two. That's a four. So we still have to place three and another red cell. Three is not here, three is there. That actually helps us figuring out, nope, sorry, what the polarity is on this kind of nine shaped German Whispers line. This has to be an eight because we've already used the nine and five away is either eight or nine. This is eight or nine. This is one, two or three. Uh, we've already used the four, but also four would not be far enough away from the eight. This is only two is the only option remaining. And this is seven or nine. Both of which are possible given this is only a two. And we've got two red cells here that are seven, eight, or nine, except this one isn't a nine. Got five, six, we've actually used up all the, so these two are blue, not got a five in here, that's blue. I say blue as in low. This is from one, two, actually, where can where does four go in here? That's a four. That's blue, therefore, that's a three. Um, we've placed three and two. That has to be a one. This is a three. What have we got left in here? We need to place a one with a seven, eight, or nine. Okay. Do we know the colors of any of these? Let's see. Just trying to figure out what this is. What I will do is probably just color them as follows for now. And let's see if momentarily we're gonna be able to actually figure out what it is. Uh, this is from one or two. This is also from one or two. We've got three and four looking at essentially both of these. And one and two means this is like open season. It can basically be anything except we've got a six and an eight already looking at it. So we also have a seven, nine in here with a one, two. Not helpful. No, nothing here. Okay. 
And we know this is red. Because if you remember, I said, oh, we've already placed, you can see, all the blue cells and the five. We needed a fourth red cell on the diagonal, which is this one. That means this is also red. This is blue. This is one or four. Of, no, it's not four because we can't place a nine in here. That's a one. Which is kind of less fortunate because it means, again, um, no real restriction around what we can place around it other than what can see the cell here with a seven, for example. It means that there is a four in there. It means there is a four in here. Three is there. I think that tells us the colors. These are red. These are blue. That's a two. That's one or two. That's a two. One, two, two, seven and nine. Still both options available. Six is actually still available. Seven, eight, nine. No real restriction here. Uh, this is presumably red. Yes, it is. And this is six, seven, eight. This is actually six. We've already placed nine, seven, and eight in, row, in the row. Goodness. We've got seven, eight, and nine. It's actually a seven, nine pair now, forcing this to be an eight. Not eight, and not eight. Can we do better? Still need to place a one, can only be in here. Need to place seven, eight, or nine. Just so strange that we're not able to resolve a lot of this still. I'll probably go back and double check that I haven't missed anything. That's a one. Um, we've already placed a two in the box. We need six and seven. Nothing's telling us again what we're missing. Ones. Two. Not really helpful. Three, not helpful again. Four, nope. Five, nope. Interesting. What am I missing? We got something really obvious somewhere that's just telling us it can only be this value. Such as, for example, this is the only seven on the diagonal. Such as, you know, one of those. Um, that's not a seven. That really hasn't given us much, has it? <laughs> I, I was thinking, yeah, that's exactly what we were looking for to sort of move this forward. It really hasn't done a lot for us. This is the only six in the column, you can see. That's nine, none of these are six. So that's the six, that's not six. This is an eight, nine pair, that's the six. That's the six down here. We now know the composition of this. This is two, three, and nine. Not three, not two. Nine could be anywhere. Not great, that's okay. This is red and it's six, seven, or eight. It's actually eight. Couldn't be got six and seven in the row looking at it, which is brilliant. Seven, six, seven, nine, eight. Now there we go. But time. Eight, nine, seven, nine, eight. This is a four, seven setup. Actually, no, it isn't. That's a four and seven. I don't know if I'm going to color any further at this point. I will, once I complete the puzzle, just tidiness, we'll call it. This is 2, 5, or 9, except this is not 9, and this is not 2. Completed the diagonal. We've completed 
pretty much all the German whispers lines, kind of. That's a seven, that's a nine. We don't have anything resolving this six, seven pair. Similarly, we don't have anything resolving this five, six pair. This two nine stands. This is not a nine. It's not an eight either here. That's a four, that's an eight. We've placed all the eights. We haven't placed all the fours, but we can now. This is three or nine. This is a three, nine, two, three. What do we place in here? We've got a seven and two, I believe. Two, set, five, nine, six, seven. If I've not made any mistakes, six to finish the puzzle. Beautiful puzzle, Dr. Logic. Very logical, very methodical. It's just using the rules and just, you know, getting on with it, really. That's kind of the conclusion of this puzzle. What I will do, though, if, if at least for my benefit, is just quickly color everything correctly. Uh, these are all red. This is neutral. These are low. These are low, this is low, and this is neutral. That's everything colored. I hope you enjoyed this puzzle as much as I have. It's kind of getting to the point where some puzzles are, feel fairly straightforward and probably increasingly getting to the point where it's easy for the regulars of this channel. I may try and venture out and see something that's a little bit tougher but uh, with that said, hope you've enjoyed it and see you back for the ne next video. Bye for now.